Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Okay, so in this video, we will be drawing a X line. You can say construction line, okay? You can access data from the draw panel and there we have X line or you can say construction line and that is just like the same thing, okay? Infinite line and these can be used uh, as references line or you can say for uh, trimming the boundaries, okay? L let's just see how we can use it, how we can draw it, okay? You can also access data from the draw drop down and there we have construction line. You can even type X line in the command bar, okay? Just type X line and then press enter. Now, if you don't know what to do, look at the command bar. AutoCAD is asking to specify a point. Let's just click in the working area. As you can see, the, 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 the command is just activated. Now, AutoCAD is asking to specify the throw point. Now, this line is actually, uh, I mean, the property of this line is it is a infinite length, okay? The, the ends of this line are unknown. However, the center and the throw point are known. Like, as you can see, I'm going to click in the working area. The line has been drawn, okay? You can click multiple points, okay? Or you can say throw points to draw multiple construction lines. As you can see, this is the same process. You have to click in the working area and it's gonna just draw you a construction line. So simple, okay? If you want to deactivate the command, just press escape from your keyboard. That's so simple, okay? This is construction line. So simple. Now, let's just be a little bit creative, okay? Now, if you want to draw the construction line, uh, maybe in horizontal form, maybe in vertical form, you can have that. You can just type Excel in the command bar or you can also type X line. Both will work, Excel space. Now, as you can see, we have multiple options like horizontal, vertical, angle by section offsets. We will try each, okay, just, uh, I mean, just alternatively, okay. So, let's type H and that's going to draw you a horizontal Excel. As you can see, it is drawing a horizontal, okay? That's so simple. And let's try vertical. So, Excel space. Now, V space for vertical. And this is going to draw a vertical construction line. So simple, okay? Now, as you can see, the, the, the ends are unknown. And however, the throw point and center points are known. So simple. All right, another we have angle, so let's try Excel space. Now, as you can see, there is an option called angle. So let's type A in the command bar. Now, AutoCAD is asking to enter angle of X line. Let's just try 30 degrees. Press enter. Now, the line is just following 30 degrees. You can even confirm that if you draw a simple line on it and then Let's just click on the ortho and as you can see, I'm going to click in the drop down, which is dimension and then angular. Let's try that one. As you can see this is now making 30 degrees. Okay, so simple. All right, let's try another option. That's bisection. Bisection means to divide an angle into equal part. Okay, this is just the division of angle into equal two parts actually. Like let's say we have uh, angle like you can say ortho off this is the angle and we want to bisect it we can do that by excel line so let's type excel in the command bar press enter now b space bar bisection now let's click the the angle vertex point and this is actually this one okay the intersection point now the start which is actually line one and another line so that's been done. Now let's press enter. As you can see, this has been uh, bisected. Okay. Let me just draw a simple line on it so we can see and we can just annotate uh, that with angular. Okay. So let's just see it. This is 32. Another one must be 32 as well. So simple. Okay. This is called bisection. All right. And the final option we have is upset. Okay. So let's we have a line just a simple line and we want to draw a Excel you can say Excel space and then upset O space 
and we want to have upset of some distance okay like from here to there that's the video you can enter that by the mouse even from the keyboard okay so i'm going to click this simple line and it will draw you in uh, you can say excel or construction line okay to the side which you want okay let me just specify the left hand side and there is our excel okay let's click this one and into the right hand side and that is our excel so simple okay that's it this is how we can draw construction line see you in the next video